13, 14, 15. She took no time off. I mean, it's, it's fine, but oh, you're playing with fire. Well, hello, beautiful people. It's Mama Goob. So today we are finally going to get the truth from Alexandra Rodriguez. She is going to tell us the truth of being a first time mom. Hallelujah. All right. So we'll get to that in a second. But before we do, I want to take up just a minute to thank my, thank my members, Yorkie Universe, Kate Zajic, Minerth Maggie, Clarissa T, Stephanie Kerr, Christine Konecki, Robin Wright, Sarah Lewin, That One Chick, DDH, Kriska, Bree, Catherine Beebe, Leah Tokyo, Julie B, Miss Mary, Heavenly Heather, Kelly, Kiersey Gates, Claire Sparks, not Sparkles, Sparks, <laughs> Cat Hospital of KW, Debbie McCrindle, Mullagrump, Jennifer Lewis, Jody Stanley, Evil Valkyrie, and Purple Talons. Thank you very much. So I post um, some members-only content, um, and sometimes they get first view at my new videos. But without further ado, let's get back to Alexandra and her truth-telling. So here she is in her kitchen looking, she looks fine, typical, you know, tank top that offers no support, but it's 9 a.m., 917 in Alex world, so. Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to a new vlog. I was trying to find the perfect spot to stand. So we have a little bit of our fall wreath and a little bit of our cozy fall garland and our little ghost and it only felt fitting because guess what came in the mail last night? Dun, 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 dun. Our pump so I did speed this up a little bit, just so you know. Actually, I think I'm going to back it down because she sounds way too manic. Oh, and yay, she got her $16 glass from Anthropology. Pumpkin cup from Anthropology is so freaking cute. I already washed it. I'm ready to make my pumpkin spice coffee. But then I was watching, whose vlog was it? I don't remember whose vlog it was, but I've actually seen two people post vlogs where they found these cup dupes at, I think it was at home. Actually, I think one person found them at at home and then someone else found them at Marshall's. So you know we gotta go on the hunt. I don't know if I'm gonna do that today, but I'm most certainly gonna go. With a newborn baby. Go check that out at some point, um, but we got it. So this is our official pumpkin spice coffee uh, cup for the season. So let's make one. Also, this is still the breakfast of my life. We need hard boiled eggs or overnight oats. That's that's it. So simple. Because it's so hard to make hard boiled eggs. She has an instant pot. Keeps me full for a bit. But on the agenda today, though, my mom and I are gonna go back to. <laughs> Back to Home Goods to return of the course. bedding that she bought that she immediately did not like, which is just, I don't know why it cracks me up so much. Like, I kid you not, by the time we got to the parking lot and she saw it in the sunlight, she was just like, no. And I'm like, why don't you just go back in now? And she's just like, no. I mean, like, the line was like super long, but I don't know. It's just so funny. So we're going back. And there was a different one of one of the many that we looked at that she did like better. So we'll see if it's still there. I also totally forgot to like snag that floor lamp. So I really hope it's still there. It was she totally forgot. Oh my God. What is wrong with you? It's newborn brain. There's only one because that would look so freaking perfect in that corner. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if they have it still. But if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. If it's mm -hmm. not. I always say that if it's still there, then it was meant to be. It's not. Let's get caffeinated. Yes, I dropped one on the floor. Cheers. It's just as I suspected. It tastes better in this cup. It is a nice, crisp, chilly morning. Um, I just brought the dog out for a little walk and like it's actually very crisp right now. And then by like 2 p.m. it's gonna be like blazing 80 in the sun. I was looking at the forecast, the 10 day forecast, and it does look like we are making our way into fall. I also ordered a bunch of these like fake little leaves <laughs> and like this this cute little like pumpkin crocheted hat and um, That's cute. pants. Like 
um they came in there in the wash but they are literally look homemade they look like hand crochet did a home make them michael michael uh zachary michael made um i got them just on amazon because i want to do like a cute little fall photo shoot with him okay. um we set okay. up like this like studio in the basement um it's just like lights and huh. a white backdrop because i want to do all of our photos for anderson just like at home yeah just i thought it was be... cheaper holy shit and especially you got the equipment It'd be like a fun little fun little project you know we'll do all of them as he grows but i had seen some really cute like inspo pics on pinterest so i'm really excited to like do some cute little fall photo shoots with him <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm going to drink my coffee, and then I'm going to head out in a little bit after Anderson eats and go back to Home Goods. So let's see let's see if they have my lamp. Back at Home Goods for another chance at bedding. Look at this freaking wreath. Are you kidding? Can you imagine? That's a moment. I, like, love that. It's, like, five moments. So much. Oh much. Isn't that amazing? No. It's huge. That would be really cute, actually, oh, for the kiddos. Oh, oh it's broken. Can we get it from half-wise? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I love those. those She's so fun. obnoxious. Fun. Those are very fun. Oh, do you think they have like faux pot filler here? Probably it's not. Like um, like faux flowers that go in a pot. Oh, like silk flowers? <laughs> you guys remember that? I think that was the one I really wanted. I like the black one too. I like that. So pretty. That is right? very fun. I like the fact that it's kind of wispy on yeah. the edges. Oh, I love it. It's very whimsical. Yes. Do you want to get it? I think I am going to. Oh, should we get a cart? How much is it? Oh, right, right, right. We ran into this problem last time. Yeah, because you're going to get bedding, so. Yeah. Okay, why do I love this? That I don't know. That would be so cute on the mantle with the other ghosts that I have. That's so cute. You get too much. Oh my gosh, and so is he. He's so like fancy with his little sequin bow tie. I'm surprised anyway, you're not going for the mushroom basket. Yes. <laughs> These are really cute and pre-made. Very fun. Ugh. All right, we're gonna go see if my lamp is still there. Oh, it's so cozy and so pretty. Oh, mom, look at this cute little. I always think of you with these cute little dolls because oh, yeah, they I just look them. so cute and I happy. Just love them. They're happy. Seems wintry. Yeah. Oh, she's holding the pumpkin. Oh, so she's just a neutral fall girl. I do. Just I love like it. you. I it's super it. fun. It's unique. Yeah. Which yes is my number one thing. And it's on I single. <laughs> yeah, they have like no taste. Comma <laughs> shaped eye. I mean, oh, in it's my. Horn. Is this a unicorn? Oh. I thought it was just a horse. I thought it was just a horse too. I'll put the unicorn and the nice fringe. I love the fringe. Yeah, I love it. You are so awake right now. It's so Why funny. are you awake? You just drank a bunch. Oh, I don't. Oh, wow. That's a lot of nice pillows. I love all. See, I love. Oh. <laughs> don't mind me. <laughs> I love all these cozy colors. Like, oh, wait, you don't need pillows. Step like, away pillows. from the Give pillow. <laughs> are you wide awake, my little friend? Look at these candles. Oh. I didn't break them. <laughs> they are intact. They look like the anthropology ones. Ten bucks. That's a really good price. I'm telling that's you, a lot of money. Money at anthropology. <laughs> I love you, but <laughs> me. And I bought. This, I bought her stuff for Christmas last week. It's the first smart thing she said. <laughs> Ooh, fall candles if you need. Oh, bunch behind you. I need. These are still here, guys. We saw these last time. They were so iconic. Fifty nine. That's a good price for a lamp. <sighs> I wish I had a pickup truck. I put a whole bunch of stuff in there. That's a super price. Yeah. And they're so fun. I could. I could see, I like that white one. You see the white one that goes like curved because you could have it next to a nice chair and have a great place to read. My whole living room tropical. You should. Sad to report, guys. My lamp is gone. Or so. Or yeah. edit. A few minutes later. All right. I actually found a lamp that I love. Yay. The 70s called and they want their lamp back. Oh, and you found a comforter. We got to show them too. Yes. Look how beautiful. Yes. The beiges and the grays, which is exactly Looks what I green. Needed. Do you need sham? Does it come with anything? I think it comes with sham. Does it or does it not? Um, Tahari. Tahari's like, um, they make a lot of women's suits. I don't think so. I feel like quilts just come with quilts. Oh. Uh, so I don't know if that's going to be an issue. No, but I see stuff here, but it just says quilt. I have shams that are like this color already, so I should be okay. Okay. It'd be great if we could find matching sheets or shams or something. You wanna look and see if they have any? So she just realized that this is green <laughs> and she thought it was gray. Ugh. So. She should get that back checked to the out. Board. She might have an issue. She should get her eyes checked out, make sure she's not becoming colorblind because. Maybe not. It's, it's not. like a throw blanket, but as a chair. That is actually. You imagine dog hair on that? Very, oh, very soft. very soft. Very fun. All right, quick stop at Target before we end our shenanigans. I'm kind of surprised they don't have all their like Halloween stuff out yet. They're kind of behind the ball for the quick shipping problems. This of life. I'm sure they have the Halloween section, but like I'm surprised they don't have the whole front and center. Arcade. Yeah. Here's some new hearth and hand. I don't think any of it's like fall though. Actually, I think maybe this is the fall section. I see pumpkins. I need no pumpkins. I hate Target. Why do they have so much music? That annoys me. It's like when I go shopping, because I just want silence. 
<laughs> ever again. No. Never. That would totally match. So it's just, this sound's going to be wonky here for a few seconds because I have to edit this shit out. The quilt. Mm -hmm. Very pretty. Yeah, there's some fall stuff over here. Oh, there's the turkey I have from last year. And then I just saw over here. They have a mini version. Look oh, at that. That was horrible. You need that. Put it in your cart quick because if you leave it there and you come back, it's going to be gone. So cute to put them next to each other. Not for $15, though. <laughs> <laughs> We're looking at the Halloween candy. Oh, oh Bubba. What's the matter? It's the size of my hand. Two dollars. Remember the old bags that were like at least twice as big? Same price or less? Because a lot of people don't actually eat candy corns. Now I sang that I don't like candy corn song, but I actually love candy corns. Okay, I'm weird, weird. It's crazy. I eat them. I used to eat them as a kid by color, <laughs> like <gasps> nip off the white part, nip off the yellow part. I don't. Oh God. How much is this tub? Weird kid? <laughs> I'm a weird tub. adult. No price on the tub. It's free. Can scan it. Look at this guy. He's been rocking. See, I bet you she still doesn't have her red card, which is ridiculous. I don't know how people can buy things regular price with a straight face. I don't know how. I mean, God bless you guys because, yeah, oof. Gotta save rolling, every dime jams. you can. A lot of the Halloween stuff's not out yet, so. When milk is pushing $5. I think I might wait to do a peruse. Once it's all like actually out, cause it's still a little, a little bit bare. These are nice, and they're yeah, they must be having shipping issues. Target, well, at least when I worked there a thousand years ago, would be filling that with something because that dead air looks terrible, and it gives me anxiety. Actually, as a former Target employee who's been, you know, been through the ringer a bunch of times just for stuff like that, actually, and I was a kid, heavy, so. Good to it's know. Like All right, you guys, it's horrible backlight right now, but the lamp looks so ugly, so good. I have been sweating a lot today. It was so hot out today, hotter than yesterday. I don't know. I was sweating. So Anderson just ate and is down for a nap. But speaking of Anderson, I had ordered on Etsy yeah. some cute little bracelets for my sons, Bruno and Anderson. Oh, these are so Oh my God, these are so pretty. You know, <gasps> when she first said, I think she means bracelets for herself, but I'm like, how's she gonna get that bracelet on Bruno? <gasps> okay, trying to like adjust them so I can show you properly. So Anderson and Bruno, and I love that they had size choices for the bracelets, cause I wanted them to be- Plus size jewelry. Be like a little bit loose, even though they're like stretchy beaded bracelets. <gasps> oh, cute. And they had different color beads, um, different, choices and stuff like that. Oh, these are adorable. Oh, I love them. So I just got the gold and then you'll be able to tell what the colors are when you look. I'll put a link to the Etsy page, but they're just like a little bit loose, but not like too loose. So measure your wrist and see. Oh, I really love that. I need to like take a picture of that and put it in the photo dump. Okay, these are so cute. Definitely gonna be like some of my go-to daily jewelry. And then another thing came in that I ordered on Etsy. So if you missed it, we were gonna name our son Diego, but changed our mind. And I had ordered one of these. <laughs> It said Diego on it. Um, no longer have. It's a perfect size to hang on Aww. that little um, shelf thing that we have. He's sure. right making a lot of sleep. He'll just he'll just grab it later. And don't apologize for baby at all, because that is a beautiful sound. If you hear him. And instead of going neutral this time, I did a bunch of green tones to match. Oh my God! She didn't go neutral. Holy shit! Maybe Anderson can even see those colors and letters his room and like how cute so i can hang it like this oh it's gonna look so cute oh i love it so yeah also from etsy i'll link both of those all right i'm back i had to charge my battery and i also put my hair down because you know after a while at least for me if my hair is up it will give me a headache so i thought for the rest of this me vlog too, i could do my new mom q a so i had posted it on instagram <sighs> and told you guys to send me in your questions and we got bruni here too i need to start looking at instagram regularly Ooh, that Bruno, you're the taking energy. a rest. So yeah, I told you guys to send me in your questions and I just had said I will answer whatever I'm comfortable with because I am very much like figuring out my groove, finding my groove, and I'm just like every day taking it a day at a time when it comes to vlogging and sharing what I feel comfortable with. That's what we're gonna do. Okay. Okay, S-I-R-I. -I. She always thinks I'm like talking to her and I'm not. So thank you guys for bearing with me as I figure out Who my channel are? and mom life and so, newborn. It, it, okay. She's not, she, she's keeping up with what her old format was. Fine. That's great. A hundred percent. You do that. 
what I think a lot of people be maybe criticizing her for is not taking a week off. So she can still earn money even though she's not on camera, okay? So she'll still get a paycheck. Maybe it won't be as big, but I'm disappointed she didn't take time off because it's not good for her and she's going to say, oh, I need this. <sighs> you need to bond with your baby girl. <laughs> I don't know. These whole days should be just you and Anderson cuddled like 20 hours a day and um, breastfeeding and just bonding. And um, Yar can do the shopping. He could do dinner. He can do all that other stuff. You need to be with your baby at first. And then, you know, as baby's not a newborn anymore, you can start, you know, shifting off, um, you know, after six weeks or so. That's oh, when my kids went to daycare, which is way too young. But let's say 12 weeks, you know, then. But I think everybody's upset that you just jumped right back into it. But let's see what she says. In life and how much I want to share. Just day by day. Just gonna keep on following my heart. So let's pull up some of these questions. So I did get like a lot of questions about my labor and delivery story, but I actually vlogged like throughout my whole like labor and delivery experience in the hospital. Um, I started vlogging shortly after my water broke at home, vlogging going to the hospital, room to room, being induced. So if you already did this, why did you pick this question? Right after labor and delivery recovery, like just so much. So if you want to watch my labor and delivery vlog, I will link it um, because- I have to look. Did she even take any time off at all? I don't remember. It's, that's, it's all right there. <laughs> the whole, the whole shebang. How many kids do you and Yara want and plan on having? It's so funny because I, a good question. I really wanted like a big family because I grew up uh, an only child. It was just mm -hmm. me and my mom. And I always wanted like, I don't know, you know, the, the movies, the picket fence. And yes, the, the five, six kids. Yes, I remember that. And then I actually had my first child and it's like Rrr. big family and the crazy christmas mornings that's what i wanted because like not to say i didn't have the best childhood my mom made my childhood extremely special she wanted a bunch a big family for christmas and i actually really loved it just being the two of us but i always wanted like something you know big and traditional when it came to like but. my future but like even just getting pregnant big and having but. anderson like the love i have for him like i don't know i don't need like as many kids as I thought, but we'll see. I really don't know. I always wanted like three or four. All of a sudden now I feel like I'd kind of be okay with two. We'll see. I honestly don't. No, it's way too early. You're, it's all still too fresh in your mind. Oh, it's no. like, we gotta get, fuck, I'm not going through that again. Through raising Anderson for a bit first before we decide. One highlight and one hardship of your first week as a mom. So going back to the first week, because Anderson, when I'm filming this, is three weeks old. The highlight of that first week, He's only three weeks old. Oh my gosh. Every time I see him, I feel like, like I would have said, oh, he's over a month now. So she brought a child who hasn't even reached the gestational point to stores a couple times. Oh, uh... week was oh, like, probably my favorite part was him being put up on my chest after I pushed him out. Like it was the most magical feeling. Um, that's actually in the, I the agree vlog. With her. Um, mm -hmm. I just it, started it crying and I was just so in awe. He was perfect. Like I just adored him from the second, from the second he was inside of me, of course. But like from the moment, like I got to like see him for the first time, um, was magic. That's like one of my top moments magic. of my entire life. But then hardships of that first week. So as you know, if you don't know, um, Anderson was five weeks early, <laughs> like on the dot, five weeks early. And um, I always knew in my gut and in my heart that he was gonna come early, but I certainly didn't expect five weeks early. So needless to say, it was a huge shock um, to my nervous system <laughs> and mentally, like of course the best surprise, especially considering he's healthy and happy and didn't have to go to the NICU. And, right. Like he did great. I cannot believe that, I cannot. Because they say that the last few weeks of a new, you know, a baby's life or a baby's, uh, what do you call that? The fetus in the um, in utero. The last couple of weeks are really about developments for lungs. But I guess he's fine and that's great. Oh my gosh, I can't tell you guys how happy I am, but. I don't know. Um, but see. once we like got home and we were settling in a few days after, um, it just like hit me like a ton of bricks. Like 
I was just because I was out of my routine I'm a super routine oriented person and I just thought yeah. I had more time to like mentally prepare sure. you know I really wasn't expecting him to come this no 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 that's like you know how you I'm sure you've watched the video I did a reaction to it she was so excited when her water broke if my kid was five weeks premature I'd be fucking shitting my pants all right she seemed so positive going in uh so i, I don't know early i'm so glad i had my hospital bag packed um and yeah, we had the majority you. of our house ready but in terms of like mentally i really did think i had more time and around day like three or four um i was just like i don't know it totally hit me out of nowhere like just the shock of it and like processing it it was a lot to process that like you know life's changed forever we knew it would be but i didn't think yet <laughs> like there were still some things i wanted to do and like that kind of leads in i got a ton of questions on mental health baby blues postpartum and i actually i do consider um the moments that i had in that first week some baby blues and i like did not talk about it in the vlogs um because well okay from my experience i mean i guess i every woman's different i felt it later like after it set in where I wasn't sleeping through the night and I was completely out of my routine. I was still very large and obese and I wasn't losing weight and it was just, you know, engorged. My breasts were engorged and the lactation consultants were judgy. I got it later. So, and um, 20 years ago, it wasn't as talked about. It just wasn't. You just, it's what you did. You just pushed through and I wish I didn't have to. So. Because it's not like they lasted all day every day, but there were moments. And overall, most of my day is very positive. It's very. Yeah, but what happens sometimes I've read with women and it doesn't sound a knock on women. They don't bond initially. They're like looking at this creature and, oh, okay, you're my baby. Yeah, it's a baby. But they don't have that. I can't even explain the bond. Um, there's a word for it, agape. Um, it's like, I, I can't explain it, but she doesn't have it. I can tell you right now. Because if she did have it, she uh, wouldn't be getting her nails done after a week and you know, her hair and go to Target with a child who hasn't even reached gestational age. Light and happy and grateful, but like a hundred percent moments of, I consider the baby blue is based off of what I've kind of seen it described as online. But part of me, I don't know if I would have felt that as much if he had come closer to his due date. Cause like I said, I you don't even know, give it time, three weeks. I cannot get over that. It's three weeks. Uh, guys, I got to look here. Hold on. How many videos has she had? So, let's see. All right, nine days. So three weeks is 15 days. All right, so we have the video I'm blocking. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. She took no time off. I mean, it's, it's fine, but oh, you're playing with fire. So, and if we look here, we have this video of shop with me. Oh, that was before. I feel like it was a lot of just shock. Like, I think it's already like a lot to go through labor and delivery and birth, but also, you know, having it happen early is just like, or not the way you planned. It's like just a lot on like your nervous system, especially considering that like, I am a very, I'm a Capricorn. I like having things kind of planned and I actually didn't even get a chance to like, um, 
come up with a birth plan yet. We were going to do that. Me and my OB were going to do that at my 36 week appointment, which would be the following week. Um, we hadn't even like dabbled with that yet. And I didn't even really know what I wanted to do yet. Like I kind of knew, but not fully. But I would honestly say she after that first it, week, though. I started to get into a routine, get into a groove. Um, like that's why I kept vlogging because it was giving me such a sense of normalcy and comfort um, because like everything was just... It's not how... Um... I don't know. For me, again, I can't speak for every woman in the world. All I've wanted to do when I've had the babies, okay, with the oldest one, the day he came home from the hospital, I did go to a Christmas party. I did because it was like having a new car because all the family was going to be there. So, uh, and I had a C-section. And um, I trotted my ass out there to introduce everybody to my baby because who knows when I was going to be able to see them again. So after that, I did not leave the house for forever. So people came to see me. I don't know. It's just, maybe it's just me. I don't know. She didn't take a second off and I think she's going to regret it immediately different out of nowhere, which is what happens when you have a baby. So um, <laughs> as amazing and magical as so many of the moments are, it's just a big change, a huge change. So there's a lot of things in life that happen. Some things you're not even prepared for. I mean, God forbid, accidents, uh, sudden deaths of loved ones. I mean, ooh, your life does can change in a heartbeat. Just that's just how it is. That's what the game is all about vlogging consistently like continually after birth I expected to take more time off <laughs> I didn't really take did any. Um, but it gave me like a great sense of like familiarity to you know keep pulling out the camera and feeling that sense of normalcy see I don't know if I would have felt um hmm. that like a huge wave of anxiety with like the big change of day-to-day -day life if he had probably I probably still would have felt it honestly um but yeah you do you have this moment of like okay life's never gonna be the same again as much as you are so grateful and love this and they're the best it, it does hit you that like yeah life is different mm -hmm. and it will always be different and you do feel a little bit overwhelmed <laughs> and Yarmin has sure. been the best teammate I could of, ask for in of course she has the best husband y'all any of you out there who have more traditional husbands they suck life in parenthood you know he's very much like you know a go 50 -50. out for an hour go get your nails done no. um you want to mm -mm. go do the target pickup like mm -mm. he's like you need to have some sense of familiarity you know three weeks she's not even completely healed yet from her episiotomy or tear or whatever she went through no and normalcy because that is like how I can regulate and calm my nervous system. So like finding like little Drugs. grooves and senses Love. of that familiarity was really, really <laughs> helpful. And like, he's just been great. Like there were a few days where I just like, I cried a lot. I also like had this moment with Bruno. I'm kind of just dabbling on a lot of questions that I saw. Bruno, I've seen some people asking like, um, I don't know, it's in here somewhere. Someone said, I love my pup to death. It's my baby. I'm afraid it will change after the baby comes. Has it for you? And that was one of the things that hit me really hard um, a few days after as well. Like I just looked at Bruno and started sobbing, sobbing because I was like, I don't want Bruno to not feel the same love we've always felt for him. True. Like, I you guys are going to get me. I have lots of dogs. He's a dog. All right. I mean, luckily, she got lucky that he didn't go crazy around the baby, but she has to really watch when Anderson's a toddler because toddlers, you know, pull on dogs' tails. They bug the dog. I hope she doesn't think it's like funny because it's not. So um, we'll see what happens. I don't, I hope he doesn't feel like, but seriously, Alex, I'll take Bruno. <laughs> it was before we really adjusted. And Bruno, Bruno and Bella would be BFFs. Loves Anderson. Like he's constantly like sniffing at him, sniffing at him, sniffing him, looking for him, like just loves him. But, um, I was just like worried for Bruno. And I also yeah, felt bad that like, Bruno's not the only kid anymore. Like Bruno has been there for me uh, through yes. like TTC and he was like kind of my TTC, child honestly for a very TLC. long time um still is but like my first little baby that really um got me through a lot of hard times when yours away at arm sorry i'm not trying to make fun of trying to conceive it's just how many people out there don't know what ttc is so it's trying to conceive
me when I was sad trying to get pregnant like Bruno was just there he's always just he's like my little buddy my little companion I just adore him so much and I completely broke down about it um and from the moment we got home Yara and I were like extremely cautious of giving Bruno so much love to make sure he knew that he was still loved and that like Anderson wasn't gonna change like, how much we like love and show him that care and affection so I don't know yeah that was a big thing for me I did break down about it I actually talked to some friends who had the same feeling which made me feel so much better so if you're watching this you're not alone and it might happen um you know you're about to have a baby and you have that fear and yes but if if you feel like inadequate when you give birth you are alone according to Alex it might happen but what I will say is like or if you're a single mother or have more of a traditional spouse you're alone thank god humans can adjust it's hard sometimes hard some things are harder than others but like you will adjust you will adapt and things will get That's easier true. i'm like very grateful That's that true. like the wave of anxiety she has this licked after three weeks she's got it guys and like i don't know a little bit nothing's of gonna that I got this is the way it's always gonna home, be um you know dissipated relatively quickly because I know that doesn't happen for everyone um but I do think like venting crying releasing it like I have so much to yar and my mom um I, I did when it was happening and it helped like tremendously so okay. having a support system helps so much well do you have a counselor you should have a counselor so much all right I'm all off topic here um let's see how has the adjustment been having a baby that you know honestly like like I said I don't know how many times I've said the word big change it's a big change um but it's the best. It, it but is it? I think it's a bigger change for Yar at this point. It really is the best. And like I, oh my gosh, this is also like a really big thing too in terms of like your mental health and like having your first baby, especially when like, you know, you've just like wanted it for a really long time. And like, I've always known in my heart that like my calling is motherhood and being a mom. Um, Like I've craved it and yearned for it for so long. And it's like, once you get it, it's almost like, oh my gosh, like I got it. Like it's almost like terrifying. And it's like this thing you've yearned for for so long. Like, oh, okay, like I, I have it now. And I bet you it might be running through her head. Oh, I didn't think it was gonna be like this. And I don't wanna mess it up. And like, I don't know, it's, just, it's a really weird feeling to get what you have yearned for for so long. It's like a weird feeling of like- I can't It's like being careful what you ask for. You might get it. I believe this is real. I don't want to mess this up. A little, it's like scary and exciting. Well, you will. Okay, we all make mistakes. You, you will. You just have to accept it and be able to move on and correct. Exciting, and it's also like, I don't know. It's a, it's a very strange feeling. There's so many emotions that come with having a baby. Like so many emotions. Oh my gosh, I got so many questions about breastfeeding. So many questions. This is something that I like really didn't want to talk about. I prefer because she's not, which is okay. Or pumping, latching gives me a lot of anxiety personally. So I do. In other words, he's never latched because she said at the hospital a five week preemie latched and was eating when her milk hasn't come in yet. <laughs> you know, you have that colostrum, but that's just not, I mean, it's good for the baby. It's really good for the baby, but that's not actual breast milk, but okay. You half pumping. And it's like, show me you don't breastfeed or tell me you don't breastfeed without telling me you don't breastfeed. And we do have formula as well, because from the beginning, him being premature, yeah. supplementing with that special formula was crucial. What yeah. has been your favorite? Oh, it's probably crazy expensive. Moment of motherhood so far, definitely, when I got to meet him for the first time. Do you want kids close in age? I, like, don't know. We really don't know. We got to just see how this It's too early. Goes. Did you have a birth plan? Nope. <laughs> definitely not my water breaking five weeks early and getting induced. Did you get any baby blues the first few weeks? Was the newborn phase a shock? Definitely touched on that. Oh my gosh, what's worse, pregnancy tired or newborn tired? One of the biggest topics. <laughs> she doesn't have to stay up every two hours though. For debate, um, during my pregnancy, I had brought this up that someone had said that um, newborn tired is not nearly as bad as pregnancy tired. And a lot of people disagreed with it. A lot of people agreed with it. So in my opinion, someone's asked what's worse, pregnancy tired or newborn tired? pregnancy tired is still worse a hundred percent I told you guys that I had also seen like a real I'm sorry I keep touching my hair I don't know why I'm like I, I like never wear it down anymore so like it feels weird to have it down but I also mentioned someone had described pregnancy tired as the feeling like you're full of cement like your body is full of cement and I'm telling you like right kind of like MS tired I bet you that's that's kind of what MS tired feels like after Anderson was born like well maybe not right after because I was sore but shortly after 
like the cement was gone like I'm walking fast I got a pep in my step like you really <laughs> I don't know it really is like a different you're running on pure adrenaline it hasn't kicked in yet and remember guys she doesn't get up in the middle of the night kind of tired in my opinion being pregnant like I just felt weighed down just like all the time like don't get me wrong I'm tired <sighs> you're gonna be tired but like my body feels like I can actually do some stuff <laughs> on like yeah. pregnant so that's my no, opinion you, did you know you really gut, do a lot of so stuff early? not that early <laughs> I definitely in my gut thought like two weeks early a week early but definitely not five weeks early I always knew he was going to come early though in my gut um, how much weight did you gain during pregnancy? How much did you lose already? Funny enough, I gained 25 pounds during my pregnancy and it came off like immediately. When we got- Really? Let me know in the comments. Home from the hospital, 15 was already off. Um, and then over the last couple weeks, the other 10 came off, so. <sighs> it's a miracle, guys. So, perfect husband. She has a perfect baby who does not cry, and he probably doesn't cry. And she lost, so she has all this energy to go shopping and cooking and all that stuff, and her house looks immaculate. And three weeks later, all her pre-pregnancy weight is gone. So, who believes that? Raise your hand in my comments. Drop a, I don't know, a waving or some kind of emoji to let me know if you believe that. So, if you don't believe that, put an X as an X to doubt. I'm back to the same way I was when I got pregnant. On a scale of 1 to 10, how scared were you? Then you were super morbidly, you were, not super morbidly, she's not 600 pounds. You were morbidly obese then, you know, bigger than now. When your water broke, I was not scared. I was just like, I was actually very excited when my water broke. Yes, yeah, she was. I would have been scared, shitless shitless scared five weeks the last month of development is pretty important broke um like it was kind of this like adrenaline rush like just like oh my gosh it's happening he's coming like oh my we god know. we're gonna meet the baby we it saw. was more excitement i wasn't really scared i was more scared when i got to the hospital and they told me i'd have to be induced and they told me that it's not pleasant to be induced that was when i got scared um <laughs> but when my water broke itself though i was kind of more excited and just like well, at least they didn't tell you prepare for a c-section I don't know, I was feeling like this. <laughs> like my brain was going wild. What age are you most excited for? Newborn, infant, or toddler? <sighs> I love him being a newborn. And him being so early, like he was just teeny. He was born six pounds, two ounces. Like I love the newborn scrunch. I love the snuggles. I love it so much. I look forward to every stage though. I'm excited to watch him grow and see his personality come and see his eyes open. Teething, terrible twos, terrorist threes. Yeah. And Marks, he still <laughs> is like almost always asleep for the most part. Um, mm -hmm. So, he won't be soon. I don't know. I'm looking forward to all of it. Oh my gosh, have you experienced postpartum sweats and BO? Girl! I think the hormones after birth might be worse than pregnancy. I... Really? Contrary to popular belief, being a big girl, I'm not a smelly person. I'm a sweaty person, not a smelly person. Now I am. I shower every day, and by the end of the day, I'm like, I smell. What's going on? <laughs> the hormones are wild, and I also am 100% having hot flashes. Constantly. I have a fan with me right here. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had a hot flash and I'm pushing 50. Especially at night, it is horrible. So yes. And like, I actually like Googled it um, like a few days ago and I saw it was a thing and I was just like, thank God, this is a thing. <laughs> I haven't had any hair loss yet. I wonder if that's gonna start soon. Contractions or postpartum downstairs recovery, loss. which one sucked more? I think the hair loss was more to the anesthesia though. Um, contractions. <laughs> contractions are by far the worst pain I've ever felt in my life. God bless the epidural. Postpartum recovery was a pain. Like, I'm finally feeling, like, so much better. Um, but yeah, the first, like, 10 to 14 days, it hurts to walk, things to pee. It's it's not, like, a pleasant uh, experience. I did have stitches. I did tear. Um, but ah. I wish I'd gotten the sits bath earlier, though. Full transparency. I feel like I would have healed so so quick if I had done that earlier. So quick. Because the second I started using it, like, two days after, I felt like a brand new woman. So, um, but yeah, contractions are, are, for me personally, it's not like that for everyone. My friend slept through her contractions, so, like, it can go any type of way. For me, Nah, I did not like contractions. <laughs> I was going, fighting for my life. Do you feel like Yara is doing the majority of taking care of the baby? Absolutely not. I... Bullshit. Fully feel, and he does too, that we split the responsibilities. Oh, 50-50. So he's doing the majority. 50-50. And that is why I feel so 
like able to vlog, able to do things. Um, he enables you because otherwise you'll berate him. Um, and it feels like a very equal partnership, which is like the best feeling in the world. Not that he couldn't do the majority and it would be a bad thing, but I do feel like we have a very, really good 50-50 split. Your experience plus size giving birth, I felt like I was judged and didn't appreciate it. Um, I'm very lucky I didn't have that experience. I did not feel um, judged. I will say my delivery nurse was also plus size and she was just like incredible. A lot of the people that were actually part of my birth, a lot of the nurses that I had throughout the like, few days were plus size. Um, and I remember I the whole country's plus size. I like immediately loved my delivery room nurse. Like <laughs> she saw the wrist tag on my wrist and she's just like, this is cutting into her hand. Get her a different one. Like she was just like on it. She was just, I don't know. She was phenomenal. They're the, actually the labor and delivery nurses, I think are the best people in the entire world. And all um, like, ugh, I loved her. You, um, you have to be, you can't be nurse ratchet and be in labor and delivery. But no, I didn't feel judged or anything. Um, I mean, in terms of like my labor and delivery experience, if you have followed my pregnancy journey, I did have some other like issues with my OB, my old OB and like BMI and all that well, stuff. Well, think about that. She could only gain 20 pounds. So she almost would have been able to make it. Stuff, um, which was hard, but in terms of like the labor and delivery, it was, it was a smooth, um, positive experience. Did you poop on the table? And was it weird as we all worry about? So I did not poop on the table. I was fully preparing myself mentally to poop on the table, but I did not. Um, I will say um, before I got induced, I had used the bathroom and I think I was emptied out at that point. So, but you know what? A lot of people poop on the table. Don't worry about it. I, I was prepared to. Well, it's when the baby poops too. That's actually dangerous and I was surprised I didn't. Do you miss being pregnant? This was another thing. Someone said, I remember missing it after my baby was born. Yes, that was another part of that baby blues wave that I had, um, like the change of it all, the shock of it all. And also I loved being pregnant. I loved it. I it's because she didn't have to go through the last five weeks. It changed it I felt, real quick. I don't know. I felt great during the majority of my pregnancy. So I did for a second, like I had this like hole in my stomach, like it, like, uh, emotionally <laughs> like I'd, I'd go to rub my stomach and I'm like oh my god he's not in there anymore and it was just like a really really weird feeling um I mean and then I get to look at him and hold him and it's magical it's magical but like I really did love being pregnant and it was um just a huge shock to not be pregnant anymore and like I had to almost I don't know if this sounds silly this is my reality if you're gonna judge that's really sad but um I you know had to mourn a little bit of like not having that last month or so of being pregnant because like I thought okay. I was gonna have that more time to enjoy it you know my belly had really popped and like I, I don't know there's something magical she wanted pictures about carrying your child like having him in there was like this really magical special feeling and it was really hard to not have it anymore and I am really grateful I also talked to some friends about this and they felt the uh, same way and, yes so that's um, you know fine. this person here too Heather and Nicole you, you also felt that way so you feel what you feel fine you know, if you go through that, it's it's a very normal, real feeling. And it's like, it's just, it's, everything just changes so fast. <laughs> and I, like, I just, I did, I loved having him in my belly and carrying him. It was a very magical thing for me. And like I did, I really loved being pregnant, but um, you know, you, you, like I said, you adjust, you adapt and thank God. <laughs> what is the funniest thing that has happened recently <laughs> regarding parenthood? Immediately when I read this, I thought to myself, when, <laughs> I've had this happen twice when I was changing his diaper and he just starts pooping more during mid change. And this is kind of gross. Has he peed yet? Coming out like soft serve. And it, it was honestly yeah. really funny. I think everything that could be like gross is adorable and funny. Like the I, poop doesn't smell yet. I love all the little farts he does all day. Like he's a farter. He's a farter. That's happened twice now where like mid diaper change just starts pooping and keeps pooping. And does keeps he pee? Pooping. Honestly, Have you gotten peed on? The majority on? of like the questions, um, a lot of them were repeats, which is great. So I think I touched on everything I wanted to. But yeah, motherhood is a wild journey. It is the best thing I have ever done in my life so far. Um, I'm extremely grateful that we have this amazing little angel in our life. I am so in love with him. Yara is so in love with him. I just like, I love... I love being a mother. I love seeing my husband as a father. I love seeing Bruno as a brother. Like literally, literally if Anderson starts to like talk or cry, Bruno runs over to his bassinet and like sniffs him. Like it is precious. First thing in the morning, Bruno runs over. Bruno's going to really like him when he's a toddler too. So no, poor Bruno will have to deal with the tail pulling and stuff. But toddlers love to drop food. <laughs> I mean, every time he gets up for a feed, Bruno runs over and is like sniffing him. Like, hey, is brother okay? Like he's so on it. Um... So that's been really awesome because we also didn't know how he was going to react to Anderson. Just for all the new moms out there, go eat.
easy on yourself. Um, you know, I well don't because you're not as good as Alex. So thankfully feeling better, but I don't want to hide that I did have a few rough days and moments um, after three weeks that first week at home um like i said no, grateful good. that it didn't last I'm glad. but if it does please talk to someone and there's no shame in going to therapy medicine like take care of yourself the hormones are they are crazy people warned me about it like the hormones are wild that after hormonal drop like i you know you feel a lot a lot so and it's normal so feel free to like share your postpartum experiences down below and maybe you guys can all chat share similar experiences and just know that you are not, not alone. alone. So I wanted to kind of just like half vlog and half do this Q&A for this video. So I think it's gonna be pretty long. So I'll probably end it here. But thank you guys for watching. All right. Well, let's see if anybody said anything useful. Okay, here we go. Right off the bat. By the way, this is yesterday. Alex, you're going through postpartum, mother to mother. That feeling of being away from the baby so young is a sign. Most mothers take at least six weeks and don't start separating from baby till around four weeks. Don't be afraid to express your true feelings. You're not alone and it does not make you a bad mom. Absolutely. Some just take longer than others to bond. It took me a while with my second, but now we are closer than ever and he's 15. I hope that helps. You're lucky because at 15, I wanted to off mine <laughs> both of them but yeah she should she's not bonded and again it's fine it happens to a lot of women just don't act like it's perfect world girls stop taking that baby out it the bloom is off the rose guys you know and covid's still out there that's the uh, you don't want an infant newborn to get covid i don't know if they can but i'm sure they can <laughs> How long does Yar have off for paternal leave? It's different in other countries and employers. Enjoy every minute. Um, so, uh, they're blaming the politicians. He doesn't work. Okay, he doesn't work. He's done. He's, he quit a while ago. Or didn't quit, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I hope new expectant mothers don't think 50-50 caring a new, for a newborn is normal. Bonding time with mama is crucial, crucial in the first few months. I agree, guys. I'm sorry. I mean, I don't want to doubt. I don't want to, you know, piss on her parade. I kind of do, but it's not really good. I don't know. All right, let's find one more. All right, so family comes first. You're a mom now. Please don't feel that you have to stress to get a video out. Although seeing you still post regularly is awesome, but never expected, 100%. I seriously, I had planned to do more reactions to her um, reality show dating game when she was uh, postpartum, but, and I still do want to go back to that, but I was hoping she'd be gone for a few weeks so I could do that. Hmm. Um, and always put your happiness first. Oh, that's shitty. No, you, no, 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 you're a mama now. Your happiness comes like 15th. Uh, just, it is what it is, guys. I see the happiness from you and it's so important to have your partner involved to help. Teamwork makes the dream work. Ugh. You and Yar are doing awesome. God, barf, gag me with the spoon. All right, guys. Well, that is all I have for you today. That's a bunch of bullshit, a bunch of delusional, almost scary bullshit. And I hope the women watching who are either, you know, not pregnant, trying to conceive new mom, like me, mom with college age kids, everybody's journey is different. But the difference is, is neither of us went out there to tout how exactly perfect our first three weeks are with a newborn. It's not possible. Anyways, guys, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for stopping by and I hope to catch you on the next one. Bye.